What's going on, everybody? Uh, we're bringing uh, this wasn't planned. This is a special episode that uh, I can't wait to bring to you guys. I'm just gonna get right into it. Uh, I'm Justin from Off the Real Podcast, and tonight we have Chris Hunter on. And for you guys asking, um, who is Chris Hunter? I'm gonna tell you how it came about to my attention. Um, a friend of mine posted a picture of you guys at the uh, Hillsborough rally. Um, you guys have fatigues and guns on, and um, I noticed that the conversation just started going crazy. Uh, not too many people knew exactly what the real deal was, and that's when I said, you know, as long as uh, you're not going to be hateful, I want to give you my platform to explain yourself and uh, see if we can maybe understand each other a little better. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so we've been going around to these protests in Central Texas to support the protesters. Um the thing is, is uh, when when the protest started in Minneapolis, and we saw that the the police were were treating people unfairly. That you know, I mean, the heavy hand of the police was going on. Uh, it, it it kind of alerted a lot of people, and you know, I'd say the thing is, is if if the police are going to show up to protest the people and they're armed, then the people should show up to protest the police and be armed. Uh, that's, that's my, that's point. my point. Man, I, uh, I respect that. Definitely. I, um, so I guess make it kind of clear. Um, what do you guys stand for? What is, what's, what's the agenda? Um, uh, so, so we're definitely pro community. You know, uh, unity in the community. Everybody comes from all different walks of life. Uh, we feel like uh, the the United States in general has had an ever encroaching police state, and that's concerning. Um, I would say what we stand for is making sure that people's voices can be heard uninterrupted, and if uh, that. If someone does try and interrupt the, the people's voice, whether, you know, the police or or agitators, we like to be there to stand between uh, protesters who have the absolute right to have their voice heard and people trying to silence that voice. OK, and, no. No, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, and, and uh, we do that with the Second Amendment. You know, uh, we have the First Amendment, but. Uh, as as we've seen, it, when people stand up unarmed, then they get rubber bullets and tear gas. But when you stand up armed, that is that's a deterrent to the police uh, as as well as anybody that would try and agitate uh, the people's voice being heard. OK, do you guys um, the one thing that I heard was that um, you guys were you seemed. Now, this is what I hear. I'm not saying it about you guys. You seemed intimidating and menacing. Do you guys feel, do you guys mean to feel, look that way or appear that way? Are you guys more than willing to interact with the community and the protesters? Oh, yeah, we're absolutely, uh, I, I mean, I love interacting with, with anyone. Uh, absolutely. Um, you know, the thing is, is obviously we show up with weapons. Um, sometimes people are just generally intimidated. They, I mean, let's face it. There's a stereotype about a white guy with a weapon. And yeah, I'm bald, but I can't grow no hair. Like, <laughs> you know, it's not my fault. <laughs> I dig it, man. I dig it. And yeah, man, I, I, I'm i glad you came on and I'm glad you, because like myself, I see the picture. I hear people talking. Your mind goes one place. It's not sure. fair. It's not fair for me to do that to you guys. It's not fair for any of us to do that to another group. So um, it's good to have you come on and hear and hear what you you know, how you feel and what you guys are, um, what your mission is. Do you have any? Who do you consider to be allies in the Waco in uh, this area? I I think I think allies are uh, really just in the community itself. You know, um, uh, right now we have uh, Black Lives Matter protests going on all over the country. Uh, we have found a lot of allies in those black black lives matter protests um as well as uh other groups that are similar to ourselves like i, I run the group syntex qrf 
uh, there's uh, Freedom Initiative Against Tyranny up in Dallas and, and other similar groups. Um, and, and just like also smaller, smaller groups like, uh, you know, that are just community wide type things. Cause you know, you have like BLM is, is big, you know, uh, and everything, but, uh, groups within the community, you know, I, I would say that we are an ally to all people that just want their voice to be heard. Yeah, man. What, Tell me about the Boogaloo movement. What is that? I actually never even heard the word until I started um, researching you. Sure, sure, sure. Um, so there's there's what the media says, and then there's what's actually happening. So uh, the Boogaloo movement, when I started getting involved, um, I got out of the army in 2016, and it wasn't a movement then it was a meme and it was just kind of a funny, like uh, the, the roots are in the uh, break into electric boogaloo movie. You know, it, it's just a funny, you know how memes are. They're meant to be satirical and everything, but it was uh, something that was going on in the libertarian community that was just satirical. And, uh, and then as people started noticing, especially on, on the uh, topic of police brutality, um, people started kind of thinking like, man, we should really think about protecting ourselves and our communities, you know, because it's, it's starting to get rough out there. And, uh, and then this year when um, uh, Duncan Limp and then right after Duncan Limp, Breonna Taylor, were murdered by police in the same way where they were, they were both asleep in their homes and police, police opened fire. fire. That was kind of a catalyst when a lot of us were like, okay, we have got to protect our communities. We need to know, you know, we don't need the police in our area making these secretive deals with no knock raids and, and things like that. We need to let our voices be known and, uh, you know, obviously, if, if they're coming and spraying bullets into people's homes while they're sleeping, then we feel we need to be armed as, as responsible citizens. Man, I, um, I, don't, I don't know if there's a better way to end it right there. Uh, I think you eloquently, you know, um, put your thoughts out there. And I, I do appreciate you for coming on and clearing the air and just uh, kind of informing people because that's that's what we need to do more people need to be informed about more things absolutely and, uh, yeah absolutely. man go ahead i'm gonna let you i'm gonna turn the um stage over to you and let you speak and let you say what's on your mind before we head out of here okay cool cool um you know i understand that there is a lot of negative media about about the boogaloo movement and uh, I'm, I'm not going to deny that there are some fringe elements, just like there are fringe elements in any type of group or movement. Uh, we do take an active role in rooting out anyone that espouses racism, bigotry, uh, accelerationism. You know, uh, um, we, we heard about the three individuals in Nevada who were arrested that they claim to have ties to a a boogaloo page or something like that. Uh, from what I understand, those three individuals were members of a white supremacist terrorist organization called the base. Um, I went to college for Homeland security and I actually had a classmate that wrote a paper on the base back in 2011, 2012, you know, and they are a dangerous and hateful organization. That is not, anything that is allowed in our movement. And if we find out that people are trying to do that, then we will root them out and we will expose them uh, to, you know, to be falsifying the, uh, the movement and everything. So um, I would just say, pay attention to your community. I want to see more people out there arming themselves and going to these protests showing their arms and showing them that they're serious about their voice being heard. And I will stand with anybody, anybody at all 
that is willing to speak up for their community and speak out against any type of authoritarian oppression. Well, man, just like that, that's that's a perfect way to end it. For Chris Hunter, I'm Justin, Off the Real Podcast. Take care, bro. Keep fighting a good fight. You too, brother. Just chill to the next episode, man. Thank you.